here will hear my announcement. If your hand is up and you, if your hand is up and you have not been called on, I will get you at the end of our lesson. But Friday will be the last day for a few of our friends. Some of our friends are going to be going to um, school. They're going to be actually coming into school and having a different teacher after Friday. So I thought to make it a little fun for their last day on Friday, we could have pajama day, which means that everybody wears their pajamas to our lesson. Even I will wear my pajamas. So on Friday is pajama day to have a fun last day with our friends who are leaving us, okay? And I'll make sure to send a message out to your families as well so that they know. So Friday, pajama day. All right, now I wanna go ahead and get started on our lesson. You know, we learn all kinds of things at school. We learn how to read, to write. We learn to count and add and subtract. But we also learn how to get along, and that's what these second step lessons are all about. So the last time that you guys got together with me, we talked about how sometimes there are accidents that happen. You know, the little girl, Daria, she didn't mean to run into James. It was an accident, but he fell down and got hurt. And so we talked then about how when you accidentally hurt somebody, you should say, oh, I'm so sorry, it was an accident. Can I help you up or are you okay? You know, ask if there's something you can do. It happens a lot. When I have kids in the classroom with me, I accidentally bump into them or step on them sometimes. Eek. Not because I wanna hurt children, but because we're just crowded sometimes and and it just happens. Sometimes I'm stepping down and somebody moves and ends up under my foot and I can't stop myself from bumping into them. Those things happen and you guys, that happens to you too. So when it does happen, you wanna stop, say you're sorry, tell them it was an accident and then ask if there's anything that you can do. Now today we're gonna to go ahead and start by playing Simon Says. So when I say Simon says do something, you're going to do it. But I'm not going to show you the action. And we have a mixed up rule. So get your tennis scopes on. You want to know the mixed up rule because the mixed up rule. You'll have to know if you get it right. Um, when I say touch your elbows. I want you to touch your ears. So when I say touch your elbows, you have to be using your self talk to remind yourself to touch your ears. So elbows is not elbows, it's ears. All right. Simon says touch your nose. Simon says pat your head. Simon says, touch your belly. But I didn't get to, to finish my Barbie okay, well, she's on something. Simon says, Simon says, touch your elbows. Simon says, ooh, look at you guys. You remember to touch your ears. Simon says, to touch your toes. Simon says, to reach up high. Simon says to jump once. Simon says to spin in a circle. Simon says to touch your hips. Simon says touch your elbows. Ooh, I'm not tricking you. Look at all the self-talk you're using to remind yourself to touch your ears. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says to jump three times. Simon says to touch your knees. 
Simon says, touch your elbows. <laughs> Simon says to sit down. And let's put our attentoscopes on and get ready to start. So, <laughs> what's wrong, puppy? Are you okay? I was playing with another dog. We were chasing each other. And the other dog bit my tail by accident. The dog said he was sorry, but it hurts. I'm so sorry, puppy. There was a weird noise happening. Now it stopped. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So oh, it's it back. The noise is back. Oh, no, it's not. I'm huh. not hearing it. I don't know if it's. Maybe. Now it's back. Oh, weird. Comes back and forth when you move. <laughs> okay, I. It's on the this on the laptop. I bet that's what it is. Sorry. I, I, I think it's because. I think it was my card on the laptop. My apologies, because it would be close to the uh, close to the speaker, and that's probably why, and the microphone. So in that situation, Puppy got hurt by another dog who was playing too rough, and his friend Snell offered to help him, which is a really nice thing to do. Now let's listen to this story. Lonnie, right here. Lonnie had found a special glittery stone in the park, but he lost it somewhere on the playground. Lonnie's friend, Deshaun, he heard Lonnie had lost this special stone and he came over to see him. Think about how you think Lonnie feels. How do you think he feels, Haley? Sad. Sad, he probably feels sad. You can tell by looking at Lonnie's face. His eyes are kind of down, his lips are kind of, and he's sitting like this. Plus the situation, losing something that's special, is kind of a sad situation, so that also helps us to know. Has anybody ever, how about thumbs up, if you've ever lost something that was special to you? Anybody ever lost something that was special to them? Oh, it looks like lots of you have lost things that were special to you. Miss Grace, once I went to a lake and I found a really special um, clam and then it was very, very special to me. I asked Mommy to keep it in my pocket safe for me and then she uh, lost it and then I felt sad and I ran into my room for a couple hours and sat there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Scarlett. So if you lost something that was special to you, put your finger on your nose if it made you sad. Ah, lots of you know how that feels. So now we know that Lonnie's sad. How do you think that Deshaun feels? How do you think he feels, Miko? Sad. Yeah, I mean, Dad. Deshaun didn't lose a stone, but he feels sad for Lonnie, his friend. So he feels sad for his friend because his friend is sad. And you can look at Lonnie's face and Deshaun's face, and Deshaun looks a little sad too. He cares about how his, his friend is feeling. 
He looks concerned or worried about Lonnie. So how is Deshaun showing Lonnie that he cares? How is Deshaun showing Lonnie he cares right now? Let's see some hands up. Don't don't interrupt. You can raise. How is he showing Lonnie that he cares? Ariana, is that your hand up? How is Lonnie showing or Deshaun showing Lonnie? Zoa, how is he showing Lonnie? By showing him he loves him all the other time. Okay. Do you notice he has his hand on Lonnie's shoulder? And he's looking at him and showing that he has concern. He's probably listening to Lonnie talk right now. You know, listening to someone is showing them that you care about their feelings. So he's listening to show that he cares. He's got his hand on his shoulder. Now, I want you guys to pretend that you are Deshaun. Think about what else Deshaun could do to show Lonnie that he cares. What else could he do to show Deshaun that he cares? Scarlett, what else could he do to show him? He could say, I'm sorry that you lost your special rock. Can can you and me go find another one? Yeah. Could say. Or maybe even look for the one that you lost. Could he maybe help him look for it on the playground? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's I have I, say. helping somebody look for something they've lost is a very big way to show that your care that you care about them. Miko, what else could he do? He could ask, are you okay? Can I help you find another one? He can ask, are you okay? Can I help you find another stone? Another pretty stone? Yeah. Artur, what else could he do? Um, he could say, maybe you can tell me where you first lost it and then I can find it for you. Okay, so he can ask him for some information so he can try to help look for it. Yeah, Deshaun's being a good friend to Lonnie, isn't he? Because he's listening to Lonnie, he's showing him that he cares. You know, there are things that he could do to help Lonnie. We're going to do some acting right now. And in this situation, I am going to have you guys, you're going to stay muted, but you're going to practice at home. I'm going to say something about a friend. We're going to say puppy. And you are going to say what you would say to puppy to make him feel better or to show that you care. So stay muted, but practice at home. Are you ready? Puppy feels sad about being left out of a game. Think about what you could say or do for puppy. I'm going to call on somebody. Let's see. Clara, what could you say or do for puppy when he feels left out of a game? Um. <clears throat> He could, um, well, um, a friend could say that, um, maybe, um, the friend could play the game with him. Okay, maybe his friend could offer to play with Puppy. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right. Now, remember, practice it with your mute on and then I will call on a kid to share theirs in a minute. Puppy feels scared about going to a new school. Think, what could you say to puppy? Leah, what could you say to puppy? 
But school is fun. School is fun. Yeah, that's something you could say. That he'll make new friends, right? Yeah. All right. Puppy feels disappointed because there aren't any more jump ropes to use at recess. So practice at home. What could you say to puppy to make puppy feel better? Karen, what could you say to puppy to make puppy feel better? When you come home, you could play with yours. You could maybe play jump rope at home later. Yeah, that's one thing you could say. Matei, what could we what could we say to puppy? You can borrow my jump rope. Oh, that's really nice. Here, use the one that I'm using. That's a good idea. Ronaldo, did you have an idea too? Did you want to share an idea for what we could say to puppy about jump ropes? So, if there's no more jump ropes allowed, I could just give it, give one to puppy, and 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 I can see if someone could share another one with me. Okay, right, that's a great idea. Yeah. Did anybody think maybe you could tell Puppy that maybe he could ask to use one when somebody else was done? Yeah, he could ask if if someone if and um, if he can play with it. Right. Or could we ask Puppy to even go play a different game? Those are some other ideas. All right. You ready for the next one? Puppy feels sad because it's too rainy to play outside. What could we say to poor puppy? I could say, um, I want to play a game inside with me. Is that you, Josie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could say, well, puppy, I know it's raining outside, but would you like to play an inside game with me? Maybe that would take his mind. <laughs> Gray, what would you say to puppy if he was sad because it was too rainy to play outside? You want to build some blocks and knock them down? Yeah, we could go play blocks and then knock them over. That might be fun. Come up with another idea, right? Oh, look at all these hands. All right, hands down. We're going to go to the next one. I want you guys to not have tired arms. <laughs> so I'm going to say this one. I want you to think first, and then we'll I'll call on a hand in a little bit. But I don't want your hands to get all tired. Puppy feels scared to go on the new slide at school. He feels scared. How could we help puppy? We can slide down together. You could say we could slide together. I'll slide with you. Oh, that's a great idea. Jean, what would you say to puppy? Puppy, do you want me to go first? Maybe you could go first to show puppy it's not so scary. Yeah. Miko, what would you say to puppy? We can play choo-choo train on the new slide. Ah, that might be a way to make it less scary. Yeah. Cashton, what would you say to puppy? Um, go in the park. Okay, maybe another thing you could do instead of the new slide, okay? All right, hey friends, I see all your wonderful problem solver hands, but um, I'm gonna have you put them down for now. You know, today we learned how to show others that we care about how they feel by listening to them and helping them. And another way for that, another way to describe that caring is the word compassion compassion means that you say kind words and do kind things to help make a difference when others are feeling upset so i want you guys to say compassion with me can you say compassion compassion so remember yeah. the compassion is saying and doing kind things 
when other people are upset to help them feel better. And I know that this week I would like you to think about how you can show compassion in your family. Maybe mom or dad has had a bad day. Maybe you could show them some compassion. Sometimes moms and dads like, you know, need a little bit of peace and quiet, or maybe they need a, a cup of water, or maybe they need somebody to, to give them hugs and make them feel better, or maybe they need help cleaning. You know, there are lots of ways that you can show compassion in your homes. Little baby brothers and sisters and big brothers and sisters sometimes feel upset too. It's a good idea to ask if you can help and show them compassion too. Okay? How many of you think you can do that? Thumbs up if you think you can show some compassion this week. I believe it because you guys are sweeties. And I know that you have big caring hearts that want to look out for your family and your friends. So I challenge you to show compassion to your family this week and try to be helpful in solving their problems because you can do it. All right, I do have time for a few more questions, but I want to go to Jean first because she froze up. Are you still there, Jean? Did you want to show us that Barbie house? Um, yeah. Awesome. Is your camera on, Jean? My camera's on. Oh, there, I see you now. This is my Barbie house, and it has a floor thing, and it's a living room, and this is what the show Barbie house looks like, and then there's this music room. But I want to keep it a living room for now. Yeah. And then it has a kitchen and a bedroom where you can fit two big Barbies in and one little Barbie because this is one of the Barbies it came with. And then where's that other Barbie it came with? It came with some horses too because this is a fence for the horses. And then it has a bathroom, a little shelf, and a door. Wow, that's so cool. Thanks for sharing that. It looks neat. I can the stairs can move out. Oh wow. It can be out or in. And you can close it up when they're in because this makes it stable. And if you Oh, help! Ah, you close <laughs> that in, then you can. You can pick it up and then like close it in. Wow, it's so fancy! Oh, uh, uh, and then close this part. Uh, oh, oh, right, 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 right. I've got, I've got, I have to move this. Way. Okay, that might be a problem. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Oh, right, right, right. Wait, wait. I think I... Yep. Now, all I need to do is get this thing up here. I need to set the iPad up. And I can wrap up like that. My goodness, Jean. What a fancy dollhouse. That's so cool. Daddy got me it. That's really nice. I bet that's one of your favorite presents, huh? Uh-huh. Well, thank you for sharing it. I'm a little jealous. I never had thank such a nice dog. I got a yoga bar. Uh-huh. I got a yoga Barbie for Christmas, and I got a, this Barbie in, in my stocking. So cool. Is that Ken? Um, well, it's a doctor, Barbie. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. She has black hair, so not really. And she has, like, not Ken's hair. Yeah, like, I don't... Not Ken's, like, not Ken's hair or, um, like, 
skins. Well, his... All oh, right, his body skins. No. Got well, very cool. I'm glad you got such wonderful things. Thank you for sharing. Welcome. Karen. I wanted to say three things about Poppy. Um, the one of the slide that um, we can hold hands and go both on the slide and also we can play outside with the rain and also you can play later outside. Yeah, those are some good ideas. Thanks, Karen. You're a problem solver. Josie. If you want to log off now, you can. If you want to push the button and leave, you can. I'm going to call on the rest of my hands. I'll see kids in reading group today if you're scheduled. Okay, where's Josie? Oh, she left. Bye. Hi. Scarlett, what did you want to share? Nope, oh, she left too. Artur, what did you want to say? Well, well, um, what I wanted to say is I have made a book called Cowboy's First Mission, and I'm working on the next book of that series, and this is one of the pages. Fantastic. This is a map. I love that. Um, Right over here is their house. That's so and, cool. And a, a dark wizard like like put it rain over there, but they got out of it. And the next challenge is to climb like two mountains. And the first one is a little one. The next one is the tallest one I have seen. Hey, Art. And then the next one is getting past um um the next the next um the next the next um thing they got in trouble is is on on um buffalo island oh so cool hey i want to show you something buddy when i lived in colorado i lived close to the foothills when you are going to where the mountains are your picture is exactly right at the base of mountains there are usually smaller hills called the foothills because they're kind of at the foot of the mountain i guess but yeah that's cool your map has foothills very cool. That's very creative. Thank you for sharing. And what? I'm just going to show. This is Buffalo Island. Nice. That's so cool. I love it. Thank you. And, and they go over here. They need a. They need a break. This this um super super metal wall wow that's cool that's really cool and the last the last one until the castle where where the princess is trapped they need to cross a water with sharks like a moat no, no, no. Grown up sharks. They need to cross a river with grown up sharks. Got I really want to see here. Yeah. And that's right under the castle. Awesome. Thank you, Artur. Very cool. Ariana. Um, I want to share. Um, one second.
Oh, no, that won't work. Yes. I got this new shirt for Christmas. Hey, Ariana, I'm going to try something because I can't see you right now. So I'm going to try to pin you. Oh, the one you're wearing? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I like that. Color. Thanks for showing us. Bye. Bye. Cashton. I need to add. Um, I I need to Arthur step in. Arthur, let me come. Oh, sweetheart, he's already logged off. Can you tell him in our next meeting at yeah. one? Yeah. All right, buddy. Sorry, he just logged off. Sorry. Um, um, I need to step in. What's that? Uh, um, what's what Santa got me for Christmas? What? Plans for the zombies. Plants for zombies. Elliot only has, has plants and zombies. Wow, that's cool. It, it has zombie plants and zombie zombies. Yeah. Plants, for, plants for zombies one comes after plants for zombies two. Very yeah. cool. This guy is not a plant. He just, he just makes plants. This guy, <laughs> he just, he just, he, he just puts plants down and the and the zombie comes and shoots and then and that's the guy does as he does. Very cool. Thanks for sharing that with us. I, I like this zombie. This zombie. Yeah, and, he looks uh, yes. great. Yeah, mommy likes this one better. But me and I, I don't know what he does. And then yeah. so let's play. And I was all like, guy. And uh, I think this, um, this is a cactus, and this one looks like a better cactus. This looks like a cactus. Both of these look like cactus. And so, um, so here's Dr. Stone Boss. It's robot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I'm gonna hurry over and let Zoa share, so I can get ready for reading groups in a second. So Zoa, let's see. I need. I, I need to go leave soon. All right, bye, Cashton. Zoe, what did you want to share? This, we made a while back. It's a kite in a plastic bag. Wow, that's pretty fancy. That's so cool. You did a very nice job. My mom helped you. Yeah, well, you guys are very talented. Super. That yeah, one was mine, and this one's my sister's. Nice. Very, very cool. All right, my darlings. I'm going to. Oh, Miko, I see your hand. We'll let you talk before we leave. I'm in the bathroom, but I want to show you. One thing that I have, can I show you the next meeting that Absolutely. we have? Absolutely, buddy. That will be fine. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great morning, okay? Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.